Tell me how you really feel with Laura Francesi, a sometimes funny, sometimes poignant, always real look at modern dating and relationships. Let's pull back the masks and get to what is authentic as we give you weekly dating and relationship tips that you can apply in your own life. Now, here's your host, Laura Francesi. Welcome to the show. This week, we're going to talk to Alyssa and Courtney about the subtle and not so subtle signals that women give when they do not want to be approached. And guys, ignore these at your own peril. And a little later, we'll answer our mailroom question of the week. And don't forget to connect with us here. Give us your feedback, ask your mailroom question, or just say hi. All right, Courtney and Alyssa, let's start with the subtle signals. When you don't want to be approached by a guy, what are they? I would say no eye contact whatsoever. If I'm looking up in the middle of nowhere, that means don't approach me at all. And I would say turning your back towards them. Um, if they're looking at you and you're sitting in a you know, sitting in a chair, I would kind of tilt my chair this way. Or if you're at a bar, kind of awkwardly angled, I would try to somehow move. If not my chair, my body itself. Yeah. How about when you're with? another guy and you can tell that this other guy is like looking at you from across the bar you can usually tell when people are looking yeah um that's a signal in itself absolutely i mean it doesn't matter if it's a boyfriend a friend a brother a dad i think it would just be awkward i mean yeah you're with somebody don't bother (laughs) if it's yeah if you're with the opposite Mm -hmm. sex Mm -hmm. all right so what are some not so subtle signals from a woman I think um, if a guy sends over a drink and it's, we don't want it, we might reject the drink. Um, That's a not so subtle way of saying, you know, don't approach me, I'm not interested, and I'm letting you down politely. Because usually the bartender will come up and say something to you, like, so-and-so over here at the Mm -hmm. bar is okay. And so if you're like, oh, no, thank you, then maybe just leave it to the bartender to give the message. (laughs) Yeah, that can be their job. (laughs) Bartender and messenger. Yes. Yes. All right, so then what if they end up approaching you anyway? Then, I mean, what, do you, what, what are some signs? Being really short with them, one-word answers, mm-hmm. or not fully answering, answering their question. Yeah. Just kind of shutting them down, shutting them out. Like immediately. Yes. Absolutely. Usually, I mean, I, I would think that most women, well, I hope that most women would try to be polite, but, you know, they don't want to be bothered. I mean, I don't want to yeah. be bothered. Yeah. Um, so... What would you say to somebody that comes up to you that, you know, maybe they haven't gotten the hint. They don't get that when they send a drink over that it's not okay and that you don't want the drink and you don't want to be talked to. What, what are yeah. you going to say to them? I think I would just say, you know, thank you. I'm really not interested right now, but I appreciate it. Thank you. Simple. Short. Yeah. Because there's nothing to really come back with at oh, that yeah. point. Mm-hmm. Right. If you've already rejected a drink, you've shut them down. Talk while talking to you, mm-hmm. and there's really nothing else that they can do. And if, yeah. if they do, then shame on them. And hopefully they, <laughs> hopefully they take it well. I mean, yes. sometimes they're not going to accept their rejection very well. Hopefully they'll just politely, you know, accept that you are not interested and mm-hmm. then walk away. But I have noticed that some guys will start to hound and to try to save themselves, save their ego, mm-hmm. but really yeah. they're just digging the hole even deeper. Yeah. It's unfortunate, but yes, mm-hmm. it does happen. It happens. They just don't know when to stop. And that's sometimes when girls get nasty because they feel like they've given you these signals and they've told you, you know, not interested and right. you haven't gotten the hint. So right. can't get mad at us. All right. <laughs> All right. I think those are some great signs, great advice for some of these guys. Thanks for your input on signals ladies give when they don't want a man to approach. And our mailroom question of the week tackles an age-old question about what is a good age range for dating. Are you ladies up for that question? Yes. Yes. (laughs) All right. Chris wants to know, what is a decent age range for men and women in dating? Five years, 10 years, 15 years? I am kind of, I have mixed feelings about that. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm going to say between five and eight years kind of a tough question but everyone in every situation is a little bit different Um, you need to consider life experience and things in common Uh, what do you guys think I agree with you I'd say eight maybe ten years if a guy is older I think once you get to a certain age there's not a lot that you're gonna have in common because if I'm 21 and you're 31 like I'm just beginning my life and you're kind of getting to a more serious point so you definitely want to be somewhere you know five eight maybe ten years um, in a relationship, I think. Okay. Definitely. So. Agreed. Five mm-hmm. to ten years. I would say ten years max because yeah. at that point, you know, someone who is maybe the older one is um, 
establishing themselves right. mm-hmm. and um, you have different interests and, and even though 10 years doesn't seem like a lot the interests at you know yeah. 21 versus 31 years is is very different so Absolutely. like think about your own life experience when you were 21 mm-hmm. um, and a guy is 31 but their maturity level is a little bit slower generally speaking so mm-hmm. that might mix okay together um, but being the opposite if a woman is 31 and a guy is 21 that just doesn't seem like a good match for me. I'm not saying it's not possible, mm-hmm. but the life experience is totally different. She's probably done with school, set with her career. Mm-hmm. He's maybe finishing school, doesn't really have a career mm-hmm. yes. yet. Mm-hmm. And um, I mean, I personally would you know, want to be with someone that's a little bit more set in their career, if mm-hmm. I am. Mm-hmm. So I think it's just something to consider. I mean, if you're not really looking for a serious relationship, then yeah. maybe it's okay. Yeah. uh, Hey, thanks for watching today. Next week, we're going to talk about some common misconceptions guys have before approaching a beautiful woman and how you might actually have a better chance than you think. As always, we'd love to hear from you to ask questions, suggest topics, give us feedback, or just say hi. I personally read and answer all of your questions and comments, so please stop by and let me know what we can do to make this the best show it can be. Thanks again for watching, and I hope you have a fabulous week.